we knew your work, but just only this wild duck, eh, which came to Holland, to the Holland Festival, uh, and which was a huge success, and not only in Holland, but all over Europe. Uh, and I think I got in touch with you by mail, uh, and you immediately replied, I remember, <laughs> which you don't do anymore. Uh, but, <laughs> and this is the first time actually that I saw a wild duck on stage uh, that was a crystal clear, with uh, also with a, a, a visual concept, literally crystal clear with the glass and people are inside of, of it. So it was a very, uh, visually very pure, as also Medea is in, in, in a certain way. You make sometimes also very different shows, eh? like, like we did together Ibsen House, based on the place of Ibsen, which was a very complicated, uh, multi, multi-screen uh, uh, show almost, you know, things happening all at the same time. And I think that was a fabulous thing that with the ensemble you have created very different worlds on stage. The thing that I found when I watched opening night was there was this moment when I was sitting in the audience where I went, I recognize this. It was the first time I'd seen a piece of work. It felt to me a little bit like the first time I watched a Bergman movie, which was there's something familiar here that I recognise mm. that is coming from someone else, mm. but it reminds me of something that I'm obsessed with. And that helps me learn faster, I suppose. It is like learning a, a language and exp expanding on that vocabulary and seeing the way that you deal with the challenges of dramaturgy, the tra challenges of staging things. This is what I learned from opera, mm. you know. There was a pace that's, that the composer had decided already, this has to be slow, this has to be quick, this has to be forte, this has to be piano. And I was suddenly aware that, oh, but this is the same in a theatre play. We are the composers together with the actors, you know. We com it's also a composition. One of the big revelations I had after knowing your work really well was seeing The Fountainhead. I know it's an unusual show of yours to pick as the thing that, that I learned a lot of lessons from, but you know, you watch scenes from Marriage, you just go, that's one of the best productions ever made, ever. Uh, it's just a piece of absolute genius. You watch your morning becomes a lecture and you just go, this is really, the energy of this is so wild and beautiful. Roman tragedies has said the last word on political productions of Shakespeare ever and involving an audience in the politics of a Shakespeare production. But the Fountainhead shouldn't work. It shouldn't work. And it did. So I watch that and I go, that's how you direct operas, that you, you, you take something and instead of going, nah, it's not really that sexy, let's turn it into something sexy, you go, no, we're going to invest in the kind of uh, politically questionable core of this, mm -hmm. of this uh, thesis. And, but we're going to engage with that question instead of being afraid of it. And you manage to dig deep into this thing without turning it into something else. And you being a writer, an author, director, you know, brings a lot, I think. And, you know, it's very personal also. That's what I feel. Mm. And we never talk about that, because, but I feel that it's very personal, that there's a secret there which uh, I don't want to know. And that's, that's what I want from an artist, actually. That's what I love from an artist, making work that's readable for a large audience, but very personal and urgent and uh, uh, also on a personal level.